Financial crime evidence took center stage in the trial of Alec Murdoch today. Prosecutors believe he killed his wife Maggie and son Paul to distract from financial pressures coming from his law firm. Our Brooke Butler joins us now live from outside the Colleton County Courthouse in Brooke. For the first time today, the jury got to hear from the son of the Murdoch's late housekeeper, Gloria Satterfield. Yeah, that's right, Chin. And Tony Satterfield's mom, Gloria, died back in 2018 after what authorities say was a trip and fall at the Murdoch's Moselle property. Now, Satterfield said today after his mom's death, Alec Murdoch approached him saying he could get he and his brother money. Satterfield told the jury how Murdoch essentially volunteered to take care of everything for them. Prosecutors then had Tony read a text conversation he had with Murdoch years later in 2021. Read that text to the jury once you sent. Um, that text says, hey man, I'm doing good. By the way, how is the case going? Just curious, but how are you? I'll show you this next text. Do you recognize that? Yes. And who is that from? That is from Alex to me. All right, and can you read that to the jury? Finally getting some movement, still a ways to go. Doing good, was just thinking about and thought I'd check in. Hope to see you soon. Still a ways to go is what he said? Yes. At that point in time, did he tell you there had already been two recoveries in the case? No. At this point, prosecutors said Murdoch had already secured settlements worth millions of dollars. And in the defense's cross-examination of Satterfield, they pointed out that Satterfield did not confront Murdoch about the missing settlement money before the murders of Maggie and Paul, essentially suggesting it's irrelevant to this case. Now, earlier in the day, we heard from an attorney who says he was once Murdoch's best friend. Chris Wilson told the jury he confronted Murdoch in September of 2021 after realizing Murdoch had allegedly tricked him out of nearly $200,000. He said he had a drug addiction. Um, and then he admitted he had been stealing money, you know, from who he um, from his law firm and from clients. Did he confess to you the truth of his life that those of whom were close to him? No one knew. He confessed to me things about him that I didn't know. I called some different. And Brooke, an interesting moment in court today or another interesting moment. A GoFundMe page was created for the caregiver who testified earlier this week and that page was brought up in court today. Yeah, Shannon, the defense brought it up and said that actually attorney at Beach family attorney Mark Tinsley had made a $1,000 donation. And I should note that Tinsley is actually a witness in this murder trial. The defense essentially wanted to strike his testimony as a result of his alleged donation, but the judge did not grant this request and instead said that it would be good fodder for cross examination. Now Tinsley did testify late this evening. We're expecting the defense to cross examine him sometime tomorrow, Shannon. All right, interesting to say the least. Brooke, thanks so much. And by the way, the GoFundMe already has more than $11,000 in donations. Now, each day is bringing new revelations about the murders of Maggie and Paul Murdoch. Stay up to date by streaming the trial live on WJCL.com or the WJCL 22 News app. And check out our very local app to watch anything you might have missed from our newscasts.